Hainsworth has been spinning wool for 227 years. Its cloth is worn by the guards at Buckingham Palace and sat on by the Lord Speaker in the House of Lords. But tradition counts for nothing if you don't innovate. Britain's once proud wool industry is now very threadbare indeed. So this mill in northern England has developed a new product, the woolen coffin, to capitalise on the growing demand for eco-friendly funerals. Though it's not a totally fresh concept. Back in 1668, there was an act of parliament that said you had to be buried in a woolen shroud. And we took that idea and we turned it into a coffin. And we knew that the market for alternative coffins was growing and uh, we developed it really from that. 50 or 60 a month are being sold in the UK and new foreign markets are opening up too. Hainsworth expects it to become their biggest selling product. Everything this coffin is made of is intended to be eco-friendly, the thick British wool, the organic cotton, the recycled cardboard that strengthens it and the biodegradable polythene that lines it. The idea is that when you bury your loved one, it's like wrapping them in a comfortable woolen blanket. Some Britons are rejecting energy-hungry cremations, tropical hardwood caskets and toxic embalming chemicals. Bamboo, wicker and cardboard coffins are now being put in woodland burial sites all over the country. Green funerals are a part, I think, of the larger trend towards green responsibility. As people are living their lives in a more environmentally responsible way, they will want their funerals to reflect that. And I see this as a growing trend for the foreseeable future. If the green burial does keep Hainsworth profitable, it's come too late for their competitors. Other mills nearby are now empty, or like this one, being used as an art gallery. It is perhaps fitting a wool maker has entered the funeral business. For different reasons, they're both dying industries. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, West Yorkshire, Northern England.